now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, let's talk about the uh, month by month rainfall. It's just so interesting to see this because we had so much rain in a couple of these months when uh, at one point we were 10 inches above the average and now it's dwindled down to 2.2 .2 inches above average, which I mean, you know, it, but it's all because of the last three months and especially October. We're down now 3.55 inches and we're the third driest October on record. So uh, no rain in the forecast in the short term this morning. Lots of sun temperatures. So I got 50. They'll be probably uh, upper 40s with a few 30s inland. I might uh, have to adjust that a bit, but we will get to 50 in the next uh, couple of hours, and then we will be in the low 70s this afternoon. So temperatures are going to warm up quite a bit from morning to afternoon. We've got high pressure in place. We're still under the influence of the dry, cool air, but there's a big pocket of humidity just to our southeast that's going to chip away at the dry air and a big pocket of warm air to the southwest that's going to chip away at the cool air. So the bottom line is we're going to warm up and we're going to get more humid next couple of days. Today, low 70s. Look at all these 80s off to the west and over the Midwest, all the way up into the Great Lakes. They're going to be breaking records out there left and right. And then, uh, well, they might even hit 90 in a spot. Now that heat slides east, so we're in it now going into Wednesday. Upper 70s for highs, maybe a few 80s in the region. And then I've got us near 80, and the model does too, Thursday afternoon. So near 80 degrees. They're cooling down in the Midwest, so we'll get a cool down eventually. That's coming around as we go into the weekend. Dew points, they're going up. Uh, not so much today. I mean, they will go up, but they really go up uh, for Thursday and Friday. And uh, with that warmer temperature, your ACs are probably going to be running for at least two days, maybe even three in a row. Now, Super Doppler 10 radar, we don't have any rain right now. A few showers way offshore. They should stay out there. We're looking at uh, a mostly sunny morning, but I think we'll catch a few more clouds as we go into the afternoon. So I'm going with uh, partly sunny skies. Very nice out there, though. Winds out of the east and northeast, 5 to 10 miles an hour. That subtle change in the wind direction being a little more out of the east, I think will help to warm up the temps. But we go into the overnight. Notice the winds change. We have partly cloudy skies overnight and early tomorrow morning, and then we'll go to mostly sunny skies into the afternoon. But those winds will be out of the west southwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour, and that's going to lift those temperatures. Now, today, the highs will be near 70 Virginia Beach, low 70s Norfolk and Portsmouth, 72 Elizabeth City, 73 Hertford, and over the Outer Banks. Nice weather this afternoon, really will be. Mid to upper 60s, Melpha, Hampton, and Gloucester, uh, 70 in Newport News, and 73 in Williamsburg. Tropics, there's one area we're still watching, medium chance of formation, no change on it lately. Uh, that's over the next few days, could drift to the north. Uh-oh, here we go. What's going on? Halloween forecast. Now, during the evening, to start, I think the temperatures will be in the mid-70s. We've got mostly clear skies, and uh, the cat's not too happy about that warm air that's out there. I mean, you know, highs during the day will be near 80, but yeah, mid-70s in the evening? Wow. Upper 70s Friday, um, slight chance for a shower late. That's the only chance of rain I have, well, Friday night, but not much and then a cool down for the weekend.